Hello and welcome to this video looking at transforming images. First I would like to look at just the resizing images and one way that you can resize the image. Now you can see on the bottom the screen there it says 2014 by 2398 pixels, 72 pixels per inch. So if you wanted to resize, there are ways that you can resize using this, the resampling. And this will this will work and it will basically put an algorithm in to resample it. What you can do is if you turn this off, what you can actually do is you want the dimensions to always be the same, but say I wanted to half the size of the image, all I could do is increase the resolution and that would half the size. Or conversely, I could double the size by doing that, right? So that is a different way. And you'll notice that the dimensions are constant, will always be the same. It's just to do with the pixel density. All right, now what I want to do is look at the uh, free transform tool. So this is the free transform button. And what it lets you do is do a bunch of different effects. So we've got an area selected and I want to look at some of the things we can do. So we can scale the image. So you don't actually have to press shift. If you press shift, it lets you do, it does sort of the opposite of what you might think. Shift lets you adjust it, but no shift will keep the corners the same size. This is what alt click does. So alt click is going to, it's going to scale it from the center of the image. Uh, if you have the mouse on this side here, you can do a rotation. So the skew operation is is known by this, which is the, you can see this vertical arrow. And that is the skew effect. If I hold down Alt as well, I can skew it like that. So there's slightly more subtle effects, the skew. Uh, less subtle though is the distort, which is a control click on a corner point. And you can distort the image however you want. Uh, shift and control is going to give you the uh, perspective effect. Now, of course, you can actually access these for the transform menu themselves. And also, you've got uh, these options to rotate and flip. So you can see we looked at scale. Yeah, so we looked at those. So, for instance, if I do distort. So you can obviously uh, select the options. So you can select all these options here, the scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective. Uh, we also have warp as well. So warp is a slightly more advanced effect. Uh, lets you do, uh, gives you a, a perspective grid, gives you some beziers as well. All right now, if we do look at the different tools, you can see like for scale example, like you can see these are locked. So this is the options bar basically for scale now. So if I wanted to change the scale, you see I could do it numerically as well. Yep, and you'll notice that they're all exactly the same for these tools here. Uh, the one difference is, and why the warp is in a different category is if we look at warp, you see warp has got a bunch of different settings. Uh, so you can actually specify the axes in warp. Uh, it's a bit like doing guides, actually. Very similar. Change the grid. And you've got a bunch of different settings in the custom settings here as well. Can change the color also the warp guide. So that will do for now. So thanks for watching.